Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Heather Austin and Unearthly Resurgence palette. So I got this really super quickly to the UK. It only came out last week. I only picked up the palette. There was a collection with a gloss and a highlighter palette as well, but just decided to pick up the palette and it will be my first time trying the brand as well. So really, really excited. So if you want to see my first impressions of the palette and what look I might create with it, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so there was a full collection for this. Didn't pick it all up. You could have got a gloss and also a highlighter palette. I really don't wear glosses very often and the highlighter had two colours in. One shade was too dark for me, I think, being as super pale as I am. And you couldn't buy just the highlight on its own anyway. And as I say, I didn't really want the gloss. So decided just to get the palette. So this is the, the package that the palette comes in. It's quite bulky, but it's really nicely packaged. And you can probably see the beetles on the front of the packaging are like holographic, really, really stunning packaging on this. And I'm super impressed with how quickly this came. So this was released just over a week ago, like eight days ago. I'm filming this on Friday the 2nd of June. It came out, like, as I say, a week ago, but on the Thursday. And the shipping was expensive. So the palette was £37, the shipping was 23 But for it to come that quickly, as I say, I'm super impressed. I normally wait at least a month for things from the States. So yeah, really, really happy with that. And I kind of look at it like what's the whole price of the, the package in all and I didn't think £60 was too bad so kind of factored in the fact that you always have to pay horrendous shipping when you're in the UK, it's just how it is. But it's like a magnetic sort of closure to the box, really really nice. Then when you open it there is a piece of foam to protect the palette and then you've got Heather Austin Resurgence on that side and then the, the palette is contained in foam inside and that's the box for the palette. And the outer packaging of the palette is the same as the box. And as I say, it's got those reflective beetles on the front again as well. And that's the back of the palette. It's got a 24 month shelf life and it's cruelty free. And it opens like a, a book. I always like palettes open that way, like a book. And the color story is an unusual one. I think when I first looked at it, I was like, it's a hodgepodge of lots of colours. What am I going to do with that? And then I started to see more and more looks in it because I wasn't going to get it to start with. But there's a lot you can do with this palette. There really is for only being 12 shades. It's kind of like two six pans, really. So you've got like cool tones at the top and warm tones at the bottom. But mixing and matching it all, there's a lot you can do with it. So and there's a lot of finishes as well. You've got mattes, you've got mattes with sparkles, you've got some duo chrome shades in there as well. So really, really excited to get this on my eyes. So I've already primed the Juvia's Place Eye Primer and I'm going to go in with this shade, which is Ceramus first, and just run that through my crease. I'm just going to take that on the outer part of my crease though. So I want to use another shade on the inner part and I'm really just putting that down so that I've got something to blend into. This primer creases badly on me. Jury's out as to whether I like this primer. I've only just started to use it and I don't know if I like it really. But I'm going to try and make it work. That shade doesn't show up tremendously well on me and I don't know who it would show up that well on actually because I think if you've got a deeper skin tone than me, you're not gonna see it, but it's gonna be a, a great blending shade. And because I'm gonna be going with some deeper colors, I wanted something to blend into. I wanna use this shade Cosmology next, and I'm gonna try that in the outer corner here. And that looks to be super pigmented. I'm gonna go in with a very light hand with that, because I don't want blue fallout all over the place. I'm just pressing that into the outer corner. I'm not looking to blend yet, just want to get the colour down. I want to take that one to the lower lash line a little bit as well, so sort of a rounded shape here. I'm just going to go back into that Saramba shade and just blend around the edges a little. Just using that as my blending shade. I don't very often start a look with blue, so it's unusual for me. 
It's probably going to look crazy before it looks good, <laughs> if it looks good at all by the time I've finished. So now I want to go in with the shade Nymph and I'm just going to take a very small amount of that and just go around the edges of that blue. Just taking that just around the edges just in this outer part here. Just thought it would add a little bit of interest to the look and sort of almost a purple between the two. I think there's lots of colours in this palette that you can mix together to make other colours which Makes it even more versatile in my book. Yeah, I don't think we can see the Saramba shade in the look really anymore. I love how those two shades are blending together though. Super, super pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Regeneration here. And I'm going to pack that all through the crease in this upper part of the crease here. Just wanted to use as many colours as I could. That's almost a neon, that would look really neon over a white to base, I think. Keeping that quite high so that I've got plenty of room for shimmers. Just taking a clean blending brush and just going around the edges now. I'm going to take regeneration on the inner part of my lower lash line here too. So just pretty much echoing what we've done on the upper lids but on the lower lids here. Quite a powdery shade. Get quite a lot of powder kick up in my eye actually. Okay next I want to take this shade Beetle and deepen up in the outer corner. That's really added some intensity to the look. I love a black in the outer V there. Then in with glitter primer for my lids. Take that quite high we're going to do a sort of a faux cut crease here. For my lids I'm going to go in with the shade Creation. I think I might just stick to that colour and then some white in the inner corner. It's a really pretty duochrome shade. You can use that all over the lid so that it's really got its moment to, to shine because I think sometimes I try to pack too many shimmers on and then you can't see the shift in them when they're these sort of shifty shades. So. That is super pretty. I don't know if you guys can see how reflective that is on camera. Taking that quite high up into my crease. It's picking up really nicely on a brush. I'm having to dig in quite a lot into the pan, but it doesn't look like it's going to hard pan. I feel like that regeneration shade isn't really showing up as much as I was hoping so I'm just going to pack a bit more of that and go perhaps just a little bit higher with it as well. It's a beautiful shade as I say, I should have perhaps used a white primer for this one. For the inner corner I'm going to go in with the shade Life. I'm just going to pack that in the inner corner there. That's a lovely bright white shade. It's Got a slight bit of a sheen to it, or a sparkle in it. It's not a matte, but it's not a shimmer. Packs a punch though, because I'm not putting that over a white base or anything. Sometimes I'll put a white pencil down to get a stark white in a corner like this, but I haven't needed to do that with this shade at all. That's really, really brightening. I'm just going to go back and forth just with the brush that we used the beetle shade on just to merge that matte and shimmer together a little bit better. I'm just going to use a touch more beetle which is the black with shimmer. Okay that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera for some finishing touches and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look and to give you my first impressions of the palette. Okay guys, so this is my finished look. To finish it off, I've used LH Cosmetics Cool Mood in my waterline and to trace above on my upper lash line as well. Not a wing, but just a trace of this colour. And then I've gone in with a Melt Lipstick. This one's in the shade Laced. I wanted something kind of cool toned but nude to go with this look because there's quite a lot going on with the eye look. But yeah, I really like how it's turned out. It's a bit unusual of a combination of colours and I think that's what you're going to get from this palette. It is a very unusual palette. And I think that's what attracts me to it. 
I think it's genius actually, but I think it's designed for people that are quite comfortable with colour and know what colours to combine with colours. It's not something that you're just going to pick up and do a quick and easy look with. I think it's, as I say, it's designed for people like Heather who love to play with lots of different colours and are quite skilled at doing so. I think it's a Halloween palette. I wonder whether this should have come out at Halloween and was perhaps delayed or something. I don't know that, but just looking at it, like this whole row here is Halloween colours. You've got like a purpley shift in this uh, duochrome here. You've got a black, you've got some neon in there. This is going to be a perfect Halloween palette. It's the most Halloween-y spring summer release I've ever seen anyway. But I'm not mad at it because I love this kind of colour story. As I say, it's weird and unusual. It's not something that you see every day. And the shadows themselves, I think they're nice. I don't think they were super pigmented as I kind of expected. As I say, with Unearthly, I'd never tried them before. I've watched quite a lot of reviews, other people's reviews on Unearthly. And maybe it's just the shades that I use, but that Regeneration and Cerumbus, I mean, Cerumbus didn't really show on me at all. Uh, regeneration, I was expecting it to be a lot more popping. It is, you know, showing up, but I expected it to be a bit more neon like it looks in the pan. Took a little bit of building to get there. They're super blendable though, and they do build on each other, which is nice. I mean, that's a pretty blended outer corner for me. I'm not the best at that. Did get some blue fallout, tried to clear it up as best I can. I think that was my fault for not tapping the brush off enough. I love the variety of different finishes in here. I love that You've got a black and a white, but it's not just a matte black and a white. So you've got the sparkles in Beetle that you'd be able to pack over a black base and really pack it so that you can see those sparkles. I like that the white, as I say, isn't just a matte, but it has got a little bit of a sheen to it. It's a little bit different. And that is super impressive in the inner corner. That's really bright. And as I say, the shimmers are gorgeous. They've, they've got such a shift to them that I just won't be able to show you on camera. It's one of these palettes that until you see it in person, you're just not going to really be able to appreciate it. But yeah, I'm really eager to dip into it again. I bet you're surprised if you've been here before that I didn't try out the red first. I was really tempted to, but I just wanted to do something with that blue, which is not like me at all. And it, this is a blue look that I can sort of get on board with because it's mixed with other colours and not just, just blue on its own. So yeah, I really enjoyed it so far. I just need to play with it more, I think. So I've tried out some of the other colours. Really need to, to see what I think of the red before I can give a full impression of the palette. But good impressions so far. And as I say, good customer service from Unearthly to get it to us so quickly in the UK. That's unheard of to get there in, well, eight days. You know, that, that's incredibly fast. So that'll be my thoughts on the palette for now. As I say, I will try and return to it and do some more looks with this one because it is an inspiring colour story to me. I've got quite a few other things that I want to film though as well and I've got a holiday coming up so I don't know how soon I'll be able to do it but I definitely will return to this one. But Heather if you do get to watch my video congratulations on the collab. I think you've done something different with this one that is unexpected and I've never really seen the beetle theme done in this way. I know Mel Thompson had her tiny marbles which is kind of insect inspired but I've never seen a beetle palette like this and this combination of colours either so I think it's something cool, something a bit unusual and yeah really pleased for you that it, it seems to be so well received by everybody. So that's it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed seeing my first impressions of the Heather Austin and Unearthly Resurgence palette. As I say, got lots of things coming up. I've bought quite a lot of makeup lately, so there'll be some more first impressions and another fun video coming up very soon. But as I say, that's all I've got for you today. So I hope you're having a lovely day or night, wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.